is going on YouTube? Hey, here today, it's really cold outside. I really wanted to go fishing this morning, but that didn't get to happen. So what is happening is I'm sitting in my kitchen. I had to put this little pan underneath here. I don't have my shop set up yet, so can't quite get out there and do anything. I'm gonna make some uh, jig hooks and I'm gonna show you all how to do it. I bought this here melting pot. First quick tip that I'm gonna give you. Whenever you buy one of these, it's a Lee uh, melting pot. Be sure you clean it out really, really well um, every time you use it because I just spent two hours trying to get this thing to work because I failed to clean it last time I used it real well. I've been making some, these are still really hot. I've been kind of pouring it out and, and cleaning the lead up. So making some cleaner chunks of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna start doing like a few times a week. We're gonna do some uh, short videos. This is gonna be a really short video today. Um, try to keep them under four minutes. Just to give you all tips on how to catch crappie, um, everything that I do. This is one of them. I make my own jigs. One of the reasons that I like making my own jigs, these hooks, these are a lot sharper than the uh, good old Walmart hook that you buy. I got my um, jig mold. We're gonna try to make a, we're gonna do a 30 second. I only have one hook. I had more and I somehow, I guess, managed to leave them when I picked this stuff up. I don't know how I did it, I had a whole bag. But they were tiny little hooks like this and <clears throat> I really wanted some number two gauge, I think. And these are like a number six, so. I'm just gonna do one and I'll show you um, how I do it and how I clean it up. So as you can tell, we got 16th ounce and these are the eighth ounce, 32nd ounce, sorry. So as you can see here, we got the 16th ounce, There's, this does four and then it does the 32nd, which it does four 30 seconds also. We're just gonna do one 32nd because that's all the hooks I got right now and as soon as my wife gets home, I'm gonna run and get a whole bunch. So let's make one real quick. So you wanna make sure that hook stays flat in there. Close it, now the hook, now the hook won't go anywhere. All right, let's record that. Now, what you're left with is a beautiful hook. It's a beautiful jig. All right, now you see how this is all this extra here. We're gonna do, what do now is just break this off. Boom, snap right off. Put that back in there. Run the file over a couple times. Just to smooth out that, that break, and it will make you one nice little jig. Now, this is a little bit bigger jig than what, or a hook, then see how that's a little longer. But basically, that's it. One thing I like about these is it'll hold your jig on. See how that, look at that nice little point. It'll hold your jig on there better than the ones you get at Walmart, per se. <clears throat> a lot of them sometimes don't even have those. And if you ever pour one of these and it doesn't make a perfect mold like this, then you can just cut the lead off, put it back in there, remelt it, do it again. But that's all I got for you on this quick tip. I recommend highly making your own uh, jigs. You can save some money um, in the long run, but um, short term, not really. If, if you don't fish a whole lot, then this isn't probably a economical for you. I just spend the extra money to buy some um, really good hooks. But that's one thing that I do because I do fish quite a bit. So um, one more thing before we go, and I'm gonna end this video because I'm trying to keep them really short. So you see all that black? You don't want that in there. That's what ruined this pot and I had to clean it. You wanna make sure you get in here and you can just take it out. See that nice, it's a good lead. Is that just dirt? So you wanna go in there and make sure that you get all that cleaned out and don't ever leave lead in your pot. I used to leave the lead in it and that's really bad. Um, it just corrodes. And I'm, I finally got this thing, I finally got this thing cleaned up now where it's working really well. I didn't have it very clean. And it took me, like I said, two hours just where I could even make one. So don't do that. Don't, don't, be, don't be a pure living for outdoors and do something like that. Clean your pot, people. 
But that's all I got for, for you today. Um, like I said, just gonna do some short, quick tips. Um, if you have any recommendations on things that you wanna know, put it down in the comments below and uh, I'll try to answer them and I'll try to make a video on it. I wanna teach you guys everything that I know, which isn't very much, but if I can help you guys out just a little bit, that's better than nothing at all. So from Pure Living for Outdoors to you guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button hit the like button, and be sure to hit that bell for notifications so you get notified when I do post these little quick videos. So, till next time, we'll see you all next video.